Wait. I did too much clicking while I was loading. It's okay. You're welcome? Alright, good. What can I say besides you're welcome? Alright, if you haven't played Magic in a while, there's a crossover set. Dungeons and Dragons Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. The actual physical cards are not out yet. They're coming out in a couple weeks. Or this month, I should say. Um, <clears throat> but lots of cool stuff. All D&D themed. You get new cosmetic cards in the swamp, uh, in the in the shop. I said the swamp uh, each day. All right, so I have a sealed uh, Forgotten Realms tournament already ongoing. I have one loss and uh, one win, and basically this run keeps going until we hit seven wins or three losses, whichever comes first. <clears throat> It is the 88th Magic Expansion releases on July 23rd. Okay. Thank you for the update. Lazy Amanda, you got a dash. You need to fix a few things for the graduation moment. My aunt wants me to do the dishes and babysit. Ah, oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Good luck and uh, congratulations again on your graduation. Yeah. All right, so just real quick, this is for anybody who uh, is into the cards. I'm playing white blue this time around. Uh, I got a flump again. The flumps love me, despite it being a rare card. I think I've gotten it twice. Um, some of the other big cards. I have a lot of things that interact with going into the dungeon. I've got the Hand of Vecna artifact. Which uh, buffs a creature depending on how many cards you have in your uh, hand. What else did I got? I got a genie, a white dragon, air cult elemental, and then we've got our uh, legendary planeswalker, Morden Kanan. <clears throat> I actually got this to work in one of the uh, games I played. You can exchange your hand with your library, then shuffle. You get an emblem uh, with you have no maximum hand size. So basically all the cards in your deck become your hand. You can try to play them. The problem with that though is let's say you only have three cards in your hand at the time. Then you can only draw three more cards. Yeah. GW2Care says, oh my god, Bog, you're still around. I remember when you played Guild Wars 2. I just played Guild Wars 2 twice this week. Why does everyone keep saying that? <laughs> I played it once last week, too. <laughs> yeah, no, this is where I've been since 2015. It's uh, almost six years. Uh, I've been here five days a week. So welcome. Glad you found me. Yeah. Bog, you remember way back when I played Guild Wars 2? What great times. I know, yesterday. Uh, all right, so let's try this. <clears throat> Let's go. We're probably going to play Guild Wars tomorrow, too. We're probably going to play some Guild Wars tomorrow because I'm going to finish the uh, the Last Champions patch. We might not do Guild Wars all day, but who knows? Maybe we will. I don't know. All right. So we got Island, Two Planes, Spike Pit Trap. All right. This seems like a decent start. Let's go. You need to work on your sky scale. I do too. Yeah. Sans, you remember when I played Solasta back in the day? I know, right? Those were good times. By the way, Guild Wars 2 Care is never going to come back again because we're just so snarky. Um. No, but seriously, we get asked that a lot. That's why I'm mentioning it. All right, let's get a spike pit trap down. 
Oh, look, he's got a pupper. He's got a pupper as his uh, card back. Hobgoblin captain. Where's Wasco? Does he like hobgoblins too, or can we kill these? Um... The only problem with this is I don't really want to sack it to the hobgoblin captain, but I'm probably going to have to. When this guy hits the player, I get to go in the dungeon. Oh, he's going to kill my artifacts. You jerk. And then he's gonna attack. I'm just gonna block. Otherwise, I'm gonna get overrun. Yeah. Speaking of New World, anyone gonna play it when it comes out? Yes. Uh, in fact, on the 20th, five days from now, is when the closed beta starts. I'm probably gonna check it out during the closed beta at least once, too. Yeah. We need to coordinate servers with the community. All right, I will try to give you guys a heads up. Um, what do we want? So he's got a 2-2, two -two, can kill no matter what I bring out. Let's put this down. This little wolf keeps sniffing. You ordered New World September 30th, 2016? It's a long time to wait. I'll block, sure. Why not? Oh, he had nothing else. Oh, what a shame. Let's put this guy down. When, Mu uh, when he enters the battlefield, I may search my library for an enchantment. Reveal it. And put that card on top. You countered me? Okay, fine. He countered me. And he's venturing into the dungeon. So these are the new one of the new cards, the dungeons. Every time it activates a dungeon, you get to go down and pick a path in there and do what it says. And then he brings down a 4-3. What? What is this? And I have no mana. Oh, man. Should I put the flump down? Flump? Should we flump it up? Yeah, when you pre-ordered it, it cost zero, right? And they honored that, right, Tamliel? He rolled a 20? He rolled a 20, so he got to exile three cards in his library and and, and cast any of them. Uh, all right, I'm gonna hope my, my flump gets me a, a mana here, a land. Come on, give me a land. He got a card too. No, didn't work. I'm gonna lose just because I don't have uh, enough mana. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to come back from this. gonna just attack with the four. He's gonna roll. Alright, good. Oh man, he's gonna play that goblin spell too. No blocks.
Here come the goblins. Yep. And another die roll. Create two more goblins. I'm I am so dead. I'm so dead. Alright, we finally got an island. Uh I think I like it with that 20 roll. Yeah, I don't think it did much because two of the things were lands, but yeah. This is not great. He's got lots of goblins. Yeah, I was like, why are you going to attack with that? Just attacking with that. Okay. I'm going to block here and I'll block here. Till end of turn, target creature becomes a dragon with base power and toughness 4-4 four, four and gains flying. Okay, that's why. How does the sealed deck mode work after three losses? Do you stop progression? Uh, at the three losses, you keep the cards that you, uh, that you made your deck out of. And you keep uh, any of the rewards that you gain. I'll show you when we lose this match. I'll show you how it works. But then you can you can pay for a new tournament after that. Dragon's fire. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what did they just do? Did they just mess that up? You may reveal a dragon card or, okay, deals three damage to target creature. <laughs> I, think, I think they just used it on their own guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um... Okay, now we got a 2-5. We'll put the Hand of Vecna in there, too. And I don't think I want to attack, right? No Vigilance on this? No. You're a new player. You have lost uh, two, so I'm curious. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it when I when I go back to that screen. Rust Monster. I haven't seen this card. First strike. Sacrifice an artifact. Rust Monster gets plus two until end of turn. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're still in a lot of trouble. I don't think Morden Caden is going to help. Um... Roll the dice. Thank you. I rolled a two. Uh, put that on the bottom. We don't want that. I can equip it, and I pay one life for each card in your hand. Yeah, I don't think that's worth doing. No attacks. We're still in bad shape. If he attacks with everything this turn, he's probably going to... Mm. 
Well, I'm gonna try to make him lose the swarming goblins. And the rust monster. Okay, he sacrificed that, so he gains. All right, so we're gonna choose blockers like this. Right there, and like that. He's still gonna deal three to me, but I should take out his two main threats. Or not, or burning hands. That could happen too. The Grim says, you can pay one life for each card or pay two ma- Oh, you could do either or, it's not both. Thank you, Grim. Thank you. I didn't know that. Um, since I'm gonna die this turn anyway, I might as well bring out Morden Kanan! You're wasting your time if you think you can win. I know. I know, I don't think I can win. The entire multiverse is my library. I didn't have enough mana to put out my wizard. Alright, good game. You like their doom bubba doom bubba doom bub twenty nine. You like you like their wolf Rosoph? Yeah, it's cute. Rubber llama! Thanks for the twenty nine months. How you doing? How you doing, Rubber Llama? Thank you so much for the resub. Okay, so for Gamer Night or anybody else that's curious, this is how it works. So, sealed deck, when you when you when you bought into the play the sealed deck, they, they gave you these six card packs. No matter what happens, you keep those on your account. Okay? And then if you get zero wins, you're gonna get an extra 200 gems back plus three packs of cards at the end, in addition to this. And then you get better rewards the more wins you get. And you keep playing until you get all the way up here and win seven wins, or over here, you get three losses. When you get three losses, they give you the rewards for how many wins you had, and boom, you take all those cards and the gems home, uh, and then that run is completely done. If you want to use those cards, you can build your own deck and play against people. And you can play a bot match or, you know, you can play, just find a match. You can use that deck however you want. But if you want to do another sealed tournament, you have to like pay the entry fee again. Yeah. What's it cost to join 2000 gems or a bunch of gold? Um, I'm in the middle of a run, so I can't see. But for example, if you do like a traditional draft, this is 1,500 uh, of these things or 10,000 of these things. Yeah, so you could do like, you could do some math on it, but uh, the sealed, the sealed uh, tournament costs 2,000 gems, right? But you get six packs plus three minimum. So you get nine packs. If you buy packs this way, all right, you're gonna, you can either pay 9,000 doing it this way, or you're gonna pay, you know, somewhere between these two here. You didn't know I was a Magic fan? I have been playing Magic since uh, college. Long, long time ago mid 90s i used to actually go to tournaments i tried to qualify for the pro tour didn't but i've long loved it and you know i take huge breaks although i haven't been playing constantly since then but this set since it's themed on dungeons and dragons has brought me back in like crazy so i love it all right let's see if we can um is there anything i want to change with the deck it's obviously not doing great I need these white and blue cards. Cards that should go in there. Shocking Grasp. Guild Thief. I didn't know what else to take out. I got a Mimic. Look at the card art. The card art is insane in this. Look at this. So good. Ill giant herd gorger. <laughs> Look at the size of the sheep in his hand. <laughs> He's big. 
Maybe more land? I have, um, I have 17 lands. I have eight, uh, eight planes, eight islands, and one temple of the Dragon Queen. That should be okay. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Screw it. <laughs> Since college, so only a couple of years. Yeah, I was in college just a couple years ago. Just a few. Oh, sorry, Justin. There was interrebs while you were in college? Barely. I had to go to a uh, computer lab to check my email. And they used mosaic. All right, two islands and a plains. All right, let's keep it. Oh, look at their pet. Don't bite at me. A shambling ghast. And I'm not going to be able to put anything good out. I got a plus two mace. All right. So the gas does one. Gas uh, can do some nasty things when it dies. Um, Get to venture into the dungeon. Hi, open a shelf. What's up? All right, we get to pick which dungeon we want to go in. Dungeon of the Mad Mage, Lost Mine of Fandelver, or the Tomb of Anni Annihilation. Let's go with. Let's do the Lost Mine. Let's, let's scry. Do we want Morden Kanan? Let's put him on the bottom, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I think I have to go on the bottom with that. Powerful card, but we have nowhere near the mana. You're doing good. You're enjoying the day before going back to work tomorrow, officially? All right. Can you explain the dungeon content uh, concept? Yeah. So, cards like this. When Eccentric Apprentice enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. Any any card that says venture into the dungeon or has that little like door symbol up on the top left, it makes it so you can choose a dungeon to enter. Now, once you once you choose a dungeon to enter, you have you have to complete that dungeon before you choose another one. If I get another card that ventures in the dungeon, I go to the next step in that card and I can choose create a 1/1 red goblin creature or create a treasure token. And the next time I go in, I go down to the next level until you complete the dungeon. So they're like, they're little like passive effects that happen when you have a card that interacts with it. Um, I guess we'll put this down. Do I want to attach this? Yeah, let's attach this. And then attack. Let's go. There. You're at 16 now. Hope you're happy. Yeah, so here's the dungeon right there. Again, if you want to see it. And there's three different choices with different flavors. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Alright. Just destroyed my creature. Thank you. Grim Bounty. Thank you. Okay. And you create a treasure out of that. Perfect. Planner ally. Whenever planner ally attacks, venture into the dungeon. Perfect. Nice to meet you. It's an angel. And if you're new to the game, like, just right-clicking gives you a whole bunch of information. Tells you what flying does, tells you what Venture the Dungeon does.
You have Asmodeus? What? Rare Devil God. If you would draw a card, exile the top card of your library face down instead. Draw seven cards. Return all cards exiled with Asmodeus, the Archfiend, to their owner's hand and lose that much life. What? What the hell? I can't believe you made it seven months. That's knocking futz. Hey! Well, I didn't know you played Magic Bob. I do. Hey, thank you so much for the reset, Cool Deluxe. How you doing? Welcome. <sighs> I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to end my turn. And then hope... Oh no. Uh, this will be a nice little surprise, but we'll see what happens. I can do this as a flash spell. It's not really a great trick, because I can't kill him. I'm trying to figure out how this guy works. All right, so he's gonna do one here. All right, let me do this. Is Asmodeus the equivalent of Ex uh, Exodia? Asmodeus, I don't, I don't know who Exodia is, but Asmodeus was one of the uh, the devil-like princes in the original Dungeons and Dragons, along with Orcus and Demogorgon and those guys. Yeah, long, long, uh, long-standing like evil arch nemesis thing. Oh no, he's got a mana core to destroy my planner ally. And there's the game right there. Wow, this deck did not do great. Did not do great. This can only do five damage too. I can't even kill Asmodeus with this. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it, exile that card. Jospel, thanks for the bits. And we got a hype train, gang. We got five minutes on the clock, 100 bits or more. New subs, resubs, gifted subs all count toward the hype train and help you unlock uh, emotes. If you don't have them all. I mean, I guess I should use the spike trap. Month resub. Yay! Santos, thanks for the 17 months. Thanks for adding to the hype train. Yeah, if you guys, you guys got your resubs, get them in. Yeah, I can get a white dragon next turn. Yay! Thank you, Tan Liel. Thanks for the bits. You come to a river. I 
There we go. Wow. 62 avoids DMCA. 62 avoids DMCA. 62 is the number of faces on a rhombicosidodecahedron. Really? And I can't believe the text-to-speech read that word. That's amazing. Cap, fantastic. Thanks for the 62 months. Thank you guys so much for this hype train because I needed to soothe the burn of just being knocked out of this tournament real quick. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you for soothing the burn. All right. So those that wanted to see what happens when you get the three losses... I only got one win, so I'm going to get 400 gems and three packs. And that's it. So now I no longer have a sealed Forgotten Tournament. So if I want to play again, 2,000 gems. Here we go. But look, first we're going to do packs. That's exactly why you picked that fact. You wanted to see if they would say it? Or you knew they would say it, Captain Fantastic. All right, let's see what our cards get. Let's see what we get. That fresh card smell, I know, except we don't get smells here. All right, so if it says first over it, that means I don't have that card yet. This is a wild card, which could be exchanged for any common I want. Zombie Ogre, Mimic, Great Axe, Veteran Dungeoneer, Power of Persuasion. What a great art for that. A Dragonborn trying to explain something to an Etten and confusing it. Rally maneuver, target creature gets plus two and gains first strike till end of turn up to one other target creature gets plus two health and gains lifelink till end of turn. All right, let's see what our rare is. Dragon turtle. Three, five flash, meaning you can just play it even on the opponent's turn. When dragon turtle enters the battlefield, tap it and up to one target creature and opponent controls. They don't untap during their controller's next untap steps. Ah, okay. Got it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next one. One minute to go on that hype train, gang. Don't let your dreams be dreams. If it ends now, no one will get anything. No emotes. No nothing. All right, what do we got? Earth Cult Elemental. Siege Monster. When Earth Cult Elemental enters the battlefield, roll a d20. Each player sacrifices a permanent. Each opponent sacrifices a permanent. Or each opponent sacrifices two permanents if you roll a 20. Okay, it's a 6-6. Six, six. You see a pair of goblins. Look at those guys. Look at those. Has there been a Vegas Pro Bundle recently? Yeah, like a month or two ago. Yeah, probably won't be one for a while, I guess. Uh, you can charge them. Creatures you control get plus two until end of turn. Or befriend them. Create two 1-1 one, one red goblin creatures. All right. And our rare... Oh, it's a treasure chest. I already have that, I thought. So you roll a 20. On a one, you lose three life. On a 2 to a 9, you create 5 treasure tokens. On a 10 to 19, you gain 3 life and draw 3 cards. And on a 20, you can search your library for a card. If it's an artifact, you can put it in the battlefield. Otherwise, put it in your hand. Interesting. We got a fireball. Alright, let's see what the next one is. I got a Displacer Beast. Looks so cool. Very iconic Dungeons and Dragons monster. Ochre Jelly! Oh god. It's a 0-0. Zero, zero. It costs green and X. Trample. Ochre Jelly enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Okay, so the more mana you spend, the bigger it is. Split. When the Ochre Jelly dies, if it, if it had two or more plus one plus one counters on it, create a token that's a copy of it at the beginning of the next end step. The token enters the battlefield with half as many counters on it. Okay, so it, it dies, it keeps splitting as long as it has plus one plus ones. Very cool thematically. All right. Let's see, uh, 
Should we do another one? Let's do a sealed uh, Forgotten Realms tournament. Here we go. Spend the 2,000 gems. This time, it's going to be better, right? We'll win more gems this time. Of course. Here we go. Our six packs. Show me the rares first. Okay, so we have to make a deck based on what we think is going to do the best out of these six packs of cards. They're just showing you the rares here. Um... Adult Gold Dragon. So if we play white and red, 4-3 Flying, Lifelink, and Haste. Interesting. The Demi Lich. Oh, God. 4 blue? We'll never get that. 4-3. This spell costs 1 blue less to cast for each instant and sorcery spell you've cast this turn. Whenever the Demi Lich attacks... Exile up to one target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, copy it, and you can cast the copy. You may cast Demi Lich from your graveyard by exiling four instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard in addition to paying their other cards. This is not going to be good for a sealed draft, I don't believe. I'm very tempted to play white red just for this card, but we'll see. Ochre Jelly we just saw in red. The Mind Flayer. 3-3 three, three, Dominate Monster. When Mind Flayer enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature for as long as you control Mind Flayer. Oh, that's really powerful. Hmm. And then the Sphere of Annihilation. It's an artifact. When it enters the battlefield with X void counters on it, depending on how much you spent when you cast the spell, at the beginning of your upkeep, Exile Sphere of Annihilation. All creatures and planeswalkers with mana value less than or equal to the number of void counters on it. And all creatures and planeswalker cards in graveyards with mana value less than or equal to the number of void counters on it. Wow. So when you bring that into play, they have until the next turn to get rid of it. Otherwise, a whole bunch of stuff is going to get wiped out. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's see what other cards we got. Ranger's Hawk. And if you guys have advice, those of you that knows the set, you know, feel free to, to let me know if you see something, because I'm still getting used to these cards. Um. Alright, this is what our white looks like. Unfortunately, our white does not seem very deep, but we do have a couple of planner allies, which are nice. All right, let's see what else we have. Secret door. We got frost Thank giant. You for some. <laughs> <laughs> Techno noob with the sixty-three months. What's going on? How you doing, my friend? Thanks for that resub. Super appreciate it. Oh, we had this used against us in the last game. Target creature becomes a dragon. Shortcut seeker. Enter into the dungeon. Blue seems pretty decent. Feign death. This could be a removal spell. Barbarian class. We got a bunch of goblins. Battle cry goblins, goblin javelineers, hulking bugbear, goblin morning star, plunder. See, the, see, red is pretty deep in this. Yeah. Techno nude. I like playing them all. I don't really gravitate, especially when I'm doing a. I, 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 I actually really rarely play constructed in any way, shape, or form. I usually play a sealed tournament like this, so I choose what I think is best out of the pool of cards they gave me. I don't really favor colors. Loathsome Troll. Oh, you can only use that when he's in the... Uh, okay, gotcha. Only when he's in the graveyard do you roll that. 50 feet of rope. That's so so D&D. &D. So you can tap it to target wall, can't block this turn, because you can climb over the wall. 
You can spend three and, and tap it to tie up. Target creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Okay. Or you can repel down. Venture into the dungeon. Activate only as a sorcery. That's the flavor on these cards is delicious. Leather armor spike trap. Dungeon map. Venture into the dungeon. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what to play. I really wanted to play this. I really wanted white and red to work, but I don't think white and red is gonna... It's gonna carry. Green-blue looks fairly good. My green looks... I think green, maybe green-red? I don't think there's enough white to sustain... I mean, let's see, a ranger, okay, you put a ranger hawk in, right? As dragon disciple enters the battlefield, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand if you do so, or if you control a dragon, dragon's disciple enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. Okay. I don't think there's enough white to make this worth it. I don't think so. So that would immediately stop the plans of the gold dragon, right? So blue. Red green looks like it has teeth. Techno Newt, you're personally liking a new dragon dwarf deck you're trying to, uh, with treasure and artifact support? Nice. Nice. Alright, let's try, let's try red-green and we'll see how it looks. Alright, Barbarian class. Dueling Rapier is fun. Goblin Javelinier. When Goblin Javelinier becomes blocked, it deals... Yeah, I kind of like those. Maybe just... Got one of those, right? Yeah. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains haste until end of turn and can't be blocked by walls this turn. Venture into the dungeon. That's not bad for one mana. Of course, we have a lot of one mana stuff. All right, Armory Veteran. Do we have anything to attach to him, though? Spare dagger, leather armor, 50, uh, just those two. All right, this is just our first pass. We'll put him in. Goblin. Burning hands. Goblin morning star, hulking bugbear. Improvised weaponry, plundering barbarian. Price of loyalty, I like that card. You see a pair of goblins? No. Unexpected windfall. Swarming goblins is great. And I like that too. That's that's a lot of cards already. Just going all red. Yeah, we got the rapier and the morning star. Yeah, Grim, you're right. We'll have to weed this down. I wonder if we just go all red. Probably not. I don't think I have enough to do that. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to share with green and then whittle this down a little bit. Bog and red, what a surprise. I was just playing white and what was I playing? White and blue? You see what you want to see. Um Wild shape. Choose one. Red black looks decent too. What what in black? Okay, so we got Sphere of Annihilation and Baleful Beholder, big powerful stuff. Do 
three chattering skeletons. We do have the Herald of Hadar. Could splash in some black. What's in green that we really, you know, I think, I think green's better. I think, I think I like green better. Let's do red green. Ranger Longbow. I probably want that for the reach. Death Touch Basilisk. Wow, I could do three of those. We're going to have way too many cards, just so you guys know. Green's actually pretty damn strong. Target creature you control gets plus one until end of turn for each mana from a treasure that was spent to cast this spell. Then that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls. I don't know if I'm going to have a re reliable source of treasure. Uh, you have it upon a glade. Land shark. Here's the land shark here. Do you guys ever see the documentary or, or read about like uh, the bullet or the boule or however you want to pronounce it? How this how that creature was created for the original Dungeons and Dragons. Literally, they had like a, a, a pack of like plastic monster toys from I think China. And, the, and they had all these like weird shapes and they literally created monsters based on what those look like. And one of them was this creature that looked like the boule. And that's how the land shark in D&D &D was born. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see. Green is really strong. I have a lot of stuff. Sacrifice Evolving Wiles. Okay, we want that probably. I'm putting way too many cards in. We're gonna have to, we'll have to whittle it down. Spike Trap I like. Um... Fifty feet of rope. Maybe I don't know. Do I want another one of these rangers? Four one. Might be my only like real defense against flyers. You happen upon a glade is good in a multicolored deck. Yeah, I uh, I don't know if it's good enough for this deck. We only have two colors and not not many like doubles, but we'll see. Let's uh, we have, we have to get rid of eight cards here. We have too many things that cost one. I feel like I don't, uh, if you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest roll. And then whenever you roll one or I don't think I have a lot of things that roll dice, do I? How many things do I have that roll dice? One. Two. Three. Four. Five five things. So do I need barbarian class? Yeah. You want to play this game and you get overwhelmed every time? Out of between any of the digital card games that are out, uh, Marauder, I think this, th this one has some of the more com confusing cards. For sure. I think Hearthstone and uh, Legends of Rune Terror are both a little bit easier to get into. That said, it does have a tutorial system. It is it is free to download and try. And if you have questions, you know where I am. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's dump the Barbarian class. I don't think I need that. We need to get rid of seven more cards. Um...
I don't think we need three basilisks. Let's do two of those. Uh, I probably don't need the lurking roper. Doesn't untap during your untap step. But he's 4 5 for 3 mana. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another thing that can screw you up, Techno Newt. Is uh, going from one of these type of games to another one where there's slight differences and you're like, nah! Yeah. I know you're playing constructed, but if you type the code game nights, game nights, you have to type the code game nights. Where do you type that in? Do I have any life gain to untap it? Um, probably not. But I can at least block with it, you know? In the store, upper right. Promotions. Like a promo code. Store at the top right corner. Oh, yeah, we're in the middle of stuff. Thank you, though. Game nights. I'll write it down. Game nights. Um, okay. What do we want to get rid of here? I want everything. I'm going to get rid of unexpected windfall. We don't need that. Four more. Four more. Probably don't need two price of lower toys. Let's go down to one of that. Three more. Uh, I think I have too much things that cost one. 50 feet of rope. Two more. Equip creature gets plus one and has trample when goblin will enter. Okay, so you can create tokens. It's pretty fun. That gives me reach, which I might need. Hulking bugbear. All right, let's get rid of the hulking bugbear. One more. I know the ochre jelly is probably not amazing. It's just too much fun. Uh, I'm going to go with... I can't decide. I'm going to get rid of the plundering barbarian. There we go. Let's try it. Let me go back to the deck. Hold on. What's my what's like like what's like the one big card we got? We don't really have a big card. Let's make it. We'll make it the ochre jelly deck. There you go. You can just drag drag a card up and that that's the that's the card they that represents your deck. <laughs> I don't know why that matters. To me it does. Alright, let's see if we can win. I'm not feeling amazing about this deck, to be honest. I feel like we didn't get to take take advantage of any of our like rare power cards because the colors just didn't work. But you never know. I didn't check the mana. Did they did they do the mana right? There was one time I did this when I wasn't streaming. The mana was totally wrong. I don't know what happened. The uh, the auto 
land stuff didn't work and I didn't have lands for a whole color. <laughs> I'm like wondering why I'm not getting the lands for that. All right. Um, so we want to, I guess we have to keep this. Hopefully I don't get mana flooded. Code monkey. We're fighting code monkey. Seems like anytime I have like an iffy start, they have a, a, a great start. Burning Hands, deal two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If the permanent is green, Burning Hands deals six instead. All right, let's just get rid of this guy. Actually, let's wait. We could try this. Try to roll uh, a 10 to a 20. And get the goblin. Sure. Roll high! Hey, we did. We got the goblin. There we go. He gains death touch till end of turn. All right, that's okay. There, go away. I still keep my morning star. And there's the shepherd. Okay, I can't really do much. Uh, when it attacks, it's going to roll a d20. So I'm not going to let it attack. Oh, I didn't realize they have an armored dog this time. Boule, 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 boule. Watch it now, watch it. Wait, oh, never mind. What were you going to say, Grim? Did I do something wrong? Manticore. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, we got my Reach character there. Oh, you missed that Burning Hands to six to Green Crate? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, should I summon that or should I do that? That just gives me plus one and trample. All right, let's get a ranger out. Power word kill. Thank you. just like their little dog pet. Oh, are you gonna kill everything? By the way, a, per uh, a precipitous drop does not make sense to kill my, uh... oh no, he's got reach, he doesn't fly. Never mind, I'm being dumb. But it, it's weird that that works on flyers. He's just gonna kill everything I play. Next turn we can get the elemental though. We just gotta roll over a 10, a 10 or higher when this comes out. Each player loses two life unless they discard a card. I'll lose the two life. All right, roll high, higher than a 10. Um, I guess I'll get rid of a mountain. <laughs> Whoops. I can't block him because he's flies. Oh, he's got the warlock class. The beginning of your uh, the creature die this turn. What did you? He has another power word kill. 
This guy, though. This guy's crazy. Didn't I get three in my first one? Shh. You're not supposed to tell them that. I didn't even know you were here for that, Grim. <laughs> yeah, I did get three of them that very first deck. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Ah, uh, another one of those. All right, um... Interesting. Do I want to? Yeah, I guess I gotta block this. Finally, block this. If I equip this. Man, getting rid of that one land actually screwed me this turn. There's a couple of things that I want to do, but I can't do them all. Roll high! That's not high! He gave me one little gobby. I gotta get rid of this guy. This guy's terrible. For my for my wolves. Alright, he's leveling up his warlock. When this class becomes level two, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Shouldn't attack with the little goblin, but that's all right. He's at five. This is this could go either way. Each player must lose two life unless they sacrifice a creature, artifact, or land. Uh... Okay. Plus one in trample. Costs two to equip. Plus two plus one. Um with the trample. Gotta block this one. 
There we go. Got him. That was close! Woo! Alright, we did it. Thanks, Gamer Knight. Speaking of Gamer Knight, wait, why is Gamer Knights one of the codes? So wait, in the store, redeem code. I put Game Knights, like that? No. Uh... What is it? Checked our newt? Game Knights. Not working. Oh well. Thanks for trying though. Capitalize? Capitalize what? The whole thing? No, I never did this. Try Marauder Rocks? No. Try the G? I did that. I did just the G. Game nights. Yeah. Oh well. Alright, so we have one win. We have time for another game. Let's do it. No problem, Techno Newt. Play D&D is supposed to work. Then you made me cancel. Play D and D. Yay! I got something. Three packs. What? Marauder. Claim. Hell yeah. All right. I got monk of the open hand. All right. Let's see what my rare is. Teleportation circle. The beginning of your end step, exile up to the target creature artifact you control, then return that card to the battlefield under owner's control. Weird card. Hot dog! Red dragon, nice. And a Vecna. Okay, I have that one already. What else? There we go, Asmodeus. I didn't have him. Legendary creature, devil god. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. We're splitting the scene, we're full of beans. Hot dog, hot dog, no problem solved. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. All right, now let's go back to playing. Oh, double Nari, don't even emote at me like that. You know, you know what that's from. Try game nights, all caps? I did. Or games nights with an S? Should I keep this gang? Three mountains, but no green. Keep or dump? I think we dump. I think we dump because I've got nothing to cast. You think you think keep? I got nothing to cast. What am I gonna cast? All right, I'll trust you guys. This is going to go poorly. 
What is this dog? They must have like a dog thing happen. Oh. I got one little goblin. A valor singer. Is that a tiefling bard? This isn't great. really does nothing. Perfect. Plus one and has trample. Wait, wasn't his, didn't his wolf look differently last turn? Crazy. There we go, we got a green. Kind of like the Valor Singer to die. Um, let's try it. All right, he didn't fall for it. I was gonna improvise weaponry, but then we could do this. Two four. So he's when he's uh, attacking. Oh, when it's my turn, he becomes a four two bear. Okay, got it. I turned him a different color. I think he just coughed up a hairball. Oh, you can make the elemental cat all different colors. I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool. This guy thinking a lot or just went AFK? They roped. They're roping. They had to go to the potty. All right. Advantage for me. Um. I want to trade my moon druid. 
Eh, let's just go. Be aggressive. They're not there, are they? Nope, they're not there. Hey, a win is a win. I'll take it. This is for gems and cards. It's a good thing I kept you, right? I didn't think that was going to turn out well at first. I will say, compared to... Like, I play a lot of Legends of Runeterra and Hearthstone. Out of the, the three games, including Magic, this game is decided way more by the way the mana works. By the, the lands. You either get mana flooded or mana screwed, and that determines so many games compared to the other two. Guy must have got a phone call, or yeah. I mean, it's happened to me before. I get somebody knocked on on the door, or something happens. Yeah. Yeah, the way that Hearthstone and, like, Legends of Runeterra deal with the, the mana... It's much better. Yeah. Or your internet goes down, exactly. He needed to extend his car warranty and he got just the phone call. Yeah. All right, so there we go. We're at two wins already. Um, some other codes that anyone plays, you literally just use them. All right, I'm gonna try them. Here we go. What do we got? Rock jocks. Okay. Nice. What is that? A card back? Debate duelists. Nice. Math whizzies. Okay. Swamp punks. That sounds like for me. Oh, nice. That's a cool one. Art Club. Nice. These are the Strixhaven card backs. Gotcha. And what was the other one? Games. Knights. No. <laughs> what is that other one that you wanted me to do? <laughs> game nights like this. I still can't get that one. Full caps? Games? Nights? Like this? Game? Night? No S. Game? Nights? I swear I've done every combo. Game nights. No. I don't know anywhere it worked for me. <laughs> Game night. <laughs> okay. It's on the website, maybe it's expired. It's supposed to be game nights. All right, one more time. Game nights. No, it's not working. It should be game. All right, one more time. Game nights. Yeah, no, it's not working. That's okay. We got lots of other good stuff. How do I look at my, or right, here's my sleeves. Oh, these are the sleeves in the shop. Whoa, some of these are cool. Uh, 
Um, where do I look at the sleeves that I have? These are the avatars. Hi, Nolan. Yeah, I'm going to be heading out in a minute or two anyway. Thanks for watching today. It's under decks. Collection. Uh. The Mexi, where do I go once I hit Dex? Pick a deck. Edit deck. I still don't see it. You're heading out as well, Justin. All right, take care. Thanks for the great stream box. No worries. Thanks for being here. Click the uh, box top card. Oh, card sleeves. Oh, okay. So I have all these. That's kind of that's kind of obscure. Obscure, don't you think? I offer. Oh, it expired on June 28th. Thanks, Malice. There you go. Yeah, that's 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 a little too hidden. Look at all the delicious card backs. This one's great. I love this one. I want to be a Loxodon wizard. This one's cool too. There's a lot going on in there. There is, yeah. Yeah. I'm still debating whether to get to buy this or not. The mastery tree. I mean, so far I've earned five levels. So I would get all this stuff. I would get one pack of cards. The dragon's fire card style. Two mastery orbs. I would get this card style, and then I would get, of course, the Red Dragon Pet, the Tiamat Sleeve, and the Elwick Tumblestrum Avatar. Yeah, you get the Red Dragon. And then as I progress the pass, I would unlock the Green Dragon, if I did it, you know, if I got this far. Blue Dragon, and then at the end, the White Dragon. And, of course, some currency and gems along the way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it. If you progress the whole pass. I just don't know if I'm going to play enough to do that. Yeah, there's the Legend of Ruterra pass too. Yeah, I, I did that one because those are always really cheap. Rabbit, though, it's the same as every other every other one. I will never finish that pass. The way they, they gate the challenges in Legend of Ruterra drives me nuts. Like, there's literally challenges... That have like eight steps to them and you can't do any progress on like the eighth uh, like the second through eighth step unless you beat the first step so they gate the entire thing like that oh it takes forever i have never successfully completed one of those mini like two week events that need the 270 pieces i've never once like completed that without like spending additional currency to unlock it Team Ad is so good. Yeah, that's just the um That's just the card back. Alright, so this is the mastery point, so. Which one do I want? Find the green Okay, drink green dragon. Oh, these are the sleeves you can get for this. Kick in the door. That one is so good. What what is what do they suggest my pick be? They just want you to start at the beginning. Just start at the beginning. All right, I want to do this one. 
<laughs> yeah. You think you maybe played three hours yesterday? You can check, but you think you're about 140 points in? Really? How? How? Unless this, unless the current one is totally different. Maybe it's different than the previous ones. Hold on, let me go check that out. You're in a match now, so you can't see. All right, well, I'm gonna lo log in myself and just see if it's different. So this is our new limited time event. I do like that you got to choose which rewards were at the beginning of the pass. That was kind of cool. It's a cool little twist. All right, so I'm at zero of 270. I only played like two games, one or two games last night. But the challenge is to do this. Oh, I went evil? Of course. So like this here, right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is what pisses me off. <laughs> there are nine steps to this challenge. But you can't work on any of the other eight until you beat this first one by targeting enemies 40 times. That drives you crazy. This is the same thing. Thresh of Cruelty, that's one of two. Yeah. Oh, well, sure, but you always have three at once. Yeah, you have these three quests. You have these three quests right here. One, two, three. But if I complete, let's say I have a session and I manage to complete all three of these, which would be quite a few games, right? I'm still only gonna get 12 points for this battle pass. And when you only have three weeks to do it, I don't know. In I, I only play, I play like three, four matches a night. So I, I don't sit there for hours and hours and hours and just play nonstop. But I still feel like logging in every day, playing three, four matches should be enough for you to beat the event. And so far it has never worked in this game for me. I've never been able to finish it. There's one time I got close to finishing it and I just really wanted the uh, the prizes at the end. So I paid extra money to finish it. Yeah. I don't know. I think they tune it a little too harshly. Hey, my, my vault's open. Explosions! Hey, look, I got all extra copies. Lots of shinies. Just play and don't sleep, easy. Well, I'll tell you, like last night, I was... The reason why I uh, indulged a little bit after the sponsored segment and played this today was uh, partially influenced by the fact that last night, all of a sudden it was like 10 p.m. I still hadn't finished work for the day. And I realized, oh man, I have to make my party for Solasta and get through this tutorial. So I guess there's gonna be no magic or Legends of Rune Terror last night. So I immediately decided last night, I'm like, I'm gonna do my Solasta chores and homework. So I'm ready for the stream tomorrow. But when I finish the sponsor segment, I'm playing magic, damn it. You tried to retire, you couldn't get into it. I, I absolutely love this game. I complain about this event. I'll, I'll complain about the events all day long, but I, I love this game. Learning this game is probably the easiest out of the uh, collectible card games I've, I've played. 
the uh, the challenges, all of these are the tutorials. And like every time they add new cards, they add new tutorials to explain the mechanics. So all you do is log in and go, okay, well, new patch. All right, let me see how to play the new uh, new cards. Yeah. Previous checks you had a hard time doing, but you'll have to check after this match. I'd be surprised, Rabbit, if you are 140 points in this quick. If that's the case, either they really changed how this event works somehow. Not that I'm not seeing it based on how their uh, quests are structured. Or you really just have been playing a ton. It's only been, what, a couple of days. If you're on the fourth reward, then that's only 30, not 130. <laughs> you know what I mean, Jellybean? Yeah, I think you've got a long way to go. You got the new champion emote. Okay, so what would that be? This one here? So you're, uh, you've got 40 points. You have 40 points, not 130. <laughs> it's the same though, it's the same. Like this would be, hold on. First, second, third, well anyway. It's the same, just reversed, it is, yeah. I compared them, I, I looked at the website and it was like the same, same level unlock the same stuff, yeah. Okay. I was hoping you weren't wrong, Rabbit. I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping that, that uh, they changed things, it would be easier. But no 